TripAdvisor has a wide variety of data you can scrape to do some competitor research, price comparison, or create your own data set. We are Parsub, and today we'll show you how you can scrape a website like TripAdvisor to export data like hotel name, rating, and price. For this example, we're going to extract hotel data from TripAdvisor for hotels in Vancouver. We'll extract the hotel name, price, and rating. We're going to export it as an Excel, CSV, or JSON file. While there are several web scraping tools, we think you'll enjoy Parsub. It's free to use and has a suite of features like IP rotation, scheduling, cloud-based scraping, and many more. The download link is in the description. Now let's show you how you can scrape TripAdvisor without any coding skills. Once Parsub is open, click on New Project and use the URL from the TripAdvisor result page. The page will now be rendered inside the app. Start by clicking on the first name of the hotel on the list. It will be highlighted in green to indicate it's been selected. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to hotel name. Parsub will now suggest the other data you want to be extracted in yellow. The rest of the hotels will now be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second hotel on the list to select them all. All the hotels on the first page will be highlighted in green now. You are now collecting the name and URL listing for the hotels. Now let's track data like price, amenities, number of views, and rating. To do this, you'll need to do a relative select command. Start by clicking on the plus sign next to your hotel selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the first hotel that is highlighted in orange, then on its price. An arrow will appear to show the association you're creating. You might have to repeat this process to fully train the scraper. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to price. Repeat the previous two steps to pull more data for each hotel to extract data you want. We're also going to extract the number of views, rating, and amenities. For rating, change the extract option from text to alt attribute. Your project should look like this. If we were to start our project, we'd only extract the first page of hotels. We'll now teach you how to add pagination to your web scraping project. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Using the select command, scroll all the way to the next page link. Click on it to select it and rename your selection to next button. Click on the icon next to your next button selection to expand it. Delete the command under the next selection. Click on the plus sign next to your next selection and add a click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page link. Click on yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat this process. In this case, we'll repeat it two times. It's now time to run your scrape. To do this, click on the green get data button on the left sidebar. Here you'll be able to test, schedule, or run your scrape job. For larger projects, we recommend that you always test your job before running it. In this case, we'll run it right away. Once your run is completed, you'll be able to download it as an Excel or JSON file. If your web scraping project comes back blank, you may need to enable IP rotation. Note, this is a paid feature, and if you do enable IP rotation, your project will take longer to complete. Click on the gear icon and then select settings. Click on rotate IP addresses. A pop-up will appear about your warning about your run speed. Click on OK. Now run your project as normal. Now you know how to scrape data from TripAdvisor and export it to an Excel or JSON file. We understand that web scraping projects can get quite complicated. If you run into any problems or have any questions, you can contact our customer support team using our live chat where we'll be more than happy to assist you. What will you scrape? Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsop.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping!